Hello everybody and welcome to this very exciting video. As loads of you know, I'm on my way to become a doctor and in around three years time, I'll be a qualified doctor practicing as a junior doctor in a UK hospital. After two years of clinical medicine, two years of engineering, I'm finally entering my clinical medicine studies. And what does every doctor and now medical students hitting the wards need? A stethoscope. Anyway, I purchased mine yesterday and it finally arrived. And so in today's video, I'm going to share the opening of my stethoscope and I'm going to talk through why I chose the Littman Classic 3. Many of you watching are medical students or aspiring medical students. And so this video could hopefully help you make up your mind as to which stethoscope you'd also like to get. This video isn't sponsored, but I purchased my stethoscope from Medisave. And the reason why I chose that website is because they had a huge range of different colors. And so I actually got a completely matte black one. And so yeah, let's clear my desk and let's crack it open. There's some overcooled packaging right here. Right, that's the invoice. How much did it come to? This came to... I also got laser engraving on mine with my first initial and my surname. Uh, and they gave me a free ECG ruler. I'm not sure how like, useful that's going to be, but... Right, here it is. The Lemon Classic 3 stethoscope. So, yeah, although this is silver, mine's all black. Nice. Well, I'm not sure how useful that's going to be, but right. Anyway, oh, beautiful. First thing I need to make sure is that my surname has been spelt correctly on the engraving. This actually feels quite nice. Feels like my iPhone 7 Plus bag, like the matte finish on there. Anyway, let's take my first listen. But I'm just going to listen to my heart and enjoy the enjoy the heartbeat. Sounds pretty good. As, in, as far as I know, that sounded fine. Um, yeah, really happy with this. As you can see, it's all black. So, uh, black gear, pod things, tubing's all black, and the nice bell at the end is black as well, with slightly greyed out, or tinted as you guys would call it, uh, like diaphragm. I think that's called the diaphragm. And it's got two ends as well. All right, putting this aside, I want to quickly talk about why I chose this model, the Classic 3, uh, and why you should consider this one and not the cheaper ones, oops, or the more expensive ones. So the reasons I got this specific one is to number one, meet my medical school requirements. It had to have the right tubing, which is like this part. It also needed the double-sided edge. This is uh, to listen to both adults and kids. And lastly, it needed to have good sound transmission. So what happens is, because you have this large area here, when you place it on a surface, it sort of, well, the sound vibrations hit this diaphragm, as they call it, it's transduced uh, into this tube, which is airtight. And then because this is a smaller surface area, the vibrations that hit this surface are amplified. And that's what you sort of hear through um, hear through these. And even then it's still quite quiet, but if you listen carefully, you can hear, um, you can hear sounds. Now, the second reason why I got this one is because it's the latest version of the Litman Classic series. The Classic range are what pretty much everyone seems to have in a hospital as far as I can remember having been in a UK hospital so far. From junior doctors to medical students to even registrars, they've all got the classic model. Particularly, I've seen the classic three around a lot and that's usually given away by this, uh, you know, double, uh, double-sided double nature. And only high-end consultants have nicer stethoscopes than this. You've got electronic stethoscopes, uh, which, you know, are two, three hundred pounds, but also a nicer version of this called the Cardiology 4, which actually has a thicker bell, I think it's called, and that picks up sounds even more clearly and presents them more loudly through the ears to you. But that aside, I mentioned this one isn't overly fancy. This, you know, despite it being just a simple stethoscope, came up to about £100, including delivery and taxes and all. I was considering spending it more because if you think about it, if we consider the lifetime of you know, these to be three, four years, uh, assuming we, let's say, lose it or break it after three, four years, I've heard some people lose them even more frequently, but let's say, you know, it lasts me three, four years, then per year, that's about £25 a year. So I was actually prepared to spend up to £200 on a very good stethoscope because it only works out to about £50 a year. And come on, our phone contracts cost £50 a month, so spending a bit on this isn't going to be um, the worst of things, particularly on a professional device that you're going to use day to day in a medical setting to save lives. I'll tell you a bit later on why I didn't go for the more expensive version, the Cardiology 4, and why I went for the you know middle ground, the Classic 3. Let's quickly talk about what else I considered. So other than Littman, there are quite a few other brands. Now, I didn't do much research into other brands because the times I've spent in hospitals, I've literally never seen any other stethoscope other than Littman's being used. And so if it seems to work, uh, if it seems to work for doctors and surgeons, 
to save lives and make people's lives better, well then clearly Lippmann must be good enough. So didn't question that, but I just decided to jump in the bandwagon and go with what worked. I also considered the slightly cheaper version, very slightly, by a few pounds, which was the Classic 2, the Lippmann Classic 2. Now, some people do purchase this, uh, and most often they purchase it by mistake, because the price of that one, the Classic 2, is slightly less than the Classic 3. However, it doesn't have the same features. It doesn't have the double-sided bell, um, nor does it have, I think, as good of a tubing setup as this one. So it's slightly inferior, but it's very similar in price. And so the logic of buying that one is like buying an iPhone from three years ago for the same price as a brand new iPhone 11 in 2020. You know, for the price I paid, which is about £88 plus VAT plus shipping, this is good value. Now, as I mentioned a minute ago, I also considered the more expensive Cardiology 4. I think Ali Abdel made a, you know, an opening video of that one as well. Now, that one cost £180 uh, in total, I think, uh, compared to £100 for this. £80 more, like I said, for a professional device, which you're going to use practically daily uh, for the next few years. And I was super duper tempted to purchase that. Uh, I've also found a matte black version of that. Really excited, was about to order it. I talked to my sister, who's also a medical student, but also some friends to hear their opinions. And, you know, it's got better tubing, it's got a bigger bell to hear sounds more clearly. Uh, arguably, it's a better stethoscope. Despite it being more expensive, uh, what I heard was that only consultant cardiologists, you know, the, the top people in cardiology use those stethoscopes. So as a medical student, just getting grips with asquotations and other stethoscope involving exams. I thought it'd be, you know, quite a foolery to get the latest and greatest device and then not know how to use it properly. It'd be like giving a Porsche to a newly qualified driver who can barely do a three-point turn. So I'd say the Classic 3 is like getting a Honda Jazz. It works, it's affordable, and it gets you where you need to go. And maybe I'll get the, you know, the Cardiology 4 or the Porsche equivalent later once I'm a bit more confident with my clinical skills and once I think my ears are good enough to benefit from the clarity of the more expensive model later. Oh yeah, let's put this on and finish the video. Student Dr. Sen. Uh, and yeah, I'll let you know how it goes. I'll make another video in about a month or two time and we'll see, you know, what it worked like and whether I'm, you know, at a time where I should upgrade to the Cardiology 4, which I really still like. It just looks nicer and it's nice having the best of the range, uh, I think. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Uh, let me know in the comments down below or on Instagram which telescope you've chosen to buy. As always, thanks so much for watching, and I'll speak to you soon. Cheerio.